Welcome to another edition of Smalltalk for you. This morning I wanted to get started with VA Smalltalk and take a look at the process once you've installed it of setting up a working environment. What we're going to do is we're going to start the installed image, so that's the development image 803 right here off the start menu. And since this is a trial copy you're seeing this, if this wasn't a trial copy you wouldn't see that. You would see this though, when you first start up an image it's going to try to connect to Envy and get itself configured. Now I'm using the file I.O., I'm not using a server image, but it's pretty much the same either way. You're going to get this and you're going to have to connect to it and it's going to synchronize your image back to that. And That's not a long process, but you really don't want to do this every single time you start up your application. And you don't want to get this every time you start up VA because you probably don't necessarily want to be starting with the organizer for the library supervisor. You want to close that and have your clean image here so that you can work with whatever things you need to work on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this image and I'm going to go down here to save image as. Notice the save as, that actually just saves the transcript. It kind of threw me a bit at first. So you go here, save image as. I'm going to put in working and save it. And it's going to save it into this directory here. Now I'm going to quit right now and not save again. Now you would think that I could just double click on this, but you'd be a little inaccurate. I'm going to double click and it's going to come up with that, but then it's going to give me this error and that seems a little unusual. Well, there's a couple of things you have to do. First, there's a configuration file here, ABT, and it's kind of linked to this ABT image file. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to paste it in here and I'm going to change the name to be working to match that. And then I put a shortcut on my desktop. I'm going to look at the properties for that. And what I did here to make sure this works is I have the path all the way out to the VM. Notice this bin directory and then over here I have the abt.exe and then the path to my ICX. And I put in the minus L argument because if there are any problems that'll drop a log file to tell you what's going on so you can kind of debug your installation issue. Once I double click on that I get the same message about this being a trial copy but beyond that the environment comes up. So there I am with my clean image and I'm ready to get started working. I don't have to reconnect to the library supervisor every time. And you can do this for any number of images that you configure for various projects. So for instance, you could load in Seaside, save the image, and have that all set up and not have to go through this all again. So that's better for today. Till next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.